Hi everyone and welcome to Circular Measure 2 where we're going to cover the second bullet point in chapter 4 here. Use the formulas s equals r theta and a equals a half r squared theta in solving problems concerning the arc length and sector area of a circle. So let's have a look at how we derive these formulae. If you think about the arc length, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So if you just take a part of that circumference, and we're talking about an angle theta, the Greek letter theta in the middle, then the fraction of the whole circumference that we're talking about is theta over 360. That's the fraction, the whole circle, times by the whole circumference here, 2 pi r. Now that's if we're talking about degrees. If we talk about radians, the whole way around, 360 degrees, is 2 pi radians. So we can simplify it to theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r. And clearly the 2's cancel, the pi's cancel, and then we're left with pi times r. Similarly, if we look at the uh, area of a sector, so that shaded area on the left there, a, is the area of a sector of a circle. So we've got theta over 360 times the area of the whole circle, pi r squared. That's what we're talking about, theta in degrees. If we switch to radians now, we can write the formula like this. Theta over 2 pi, it's 2 pi is 360, times pi r squared. So the pi's cancel, we're left with theta on the top, r squared, and 2 on the bottom, which we can simplify to a half r squared theta. That's if we're talking this angle in radians. Okay, so that leaves us with these two formulae here. The length of an arc, S, is the length of the arc, is equal to R theta. The area of a sector, A, is a half R squared theta. Really important, can't emphasize it enough, that theta here is in radians. Okay, it's very important. So when you use these formulas, you have to remember the angle in radians. Let's look at this basic example here. We've got a sector of a circle. The angle in the middle is 7 pi over 6 radians. The radius of the circle is 4 centimeters. So the length of this arc around the outside, s equals r theta, 4 times 7 pi over 6 on our calculators, 14.7 centimeters. That's the length of the arc. And the area of that sector, a half r squared times theta. Once again, really important. The angle is in radians, 7 pi over 6. So that's 29.3 centimetres squared to three significant figures. Second example. In this one here, I've given you the perimeter of the sector as being 11 centimetres, and we want to find the area. First, we're going to find the angle here. If the perimeter of the sector is 11, that includes the two radii. So we've got 4 plus 4 plus this bit here equals 11. So the length of the arc must be 3 centimetres. Using the formula, S equals R theta. The length of the arc is 3, the radius is 4. So this angle in the middle is 3 quarters radians. Okay, now that might sound really strange to think about. 0.75 radians. Remember, 1 radian is around about 57.3 degrees. So we've got 3 quarters of a radian there. Now I've got all the information we need to find the area of the sector, half r squared theta, half four squared times three quarters. That sector there is six centimeters squared in area. Third example, we're trying to find the area of a segment. Now a segment is the area between an arc of a circle, between the circumference here and what we call a chord. A chord is just a line drawn between any two points on the circumference of the circle. So trying to find the area of this little blue shaded bit in here. The technique we're going to use is to find the area of the sector and then subtract off the area of this triangle OAB. That will give us this blue shaded area. Now if you remember from last year, this formula here for the area of a triangle, a half AB sine C. Now this, fo this formula gives us the area of a triangle given two sides, A and B, and the angle in between those sides. So this is the perfect formula to use for this example here, because we have the two sides, they're both eight centimeters, we have the angle in between. 
So here's the formula that you could use every time for this situation of finding the area of a segment. A half r squared theta, that's the area of the sector, minus a half r squared sine theta, which is the area of the triangle. Remember, uh, a and B here are both the same thing, they're both the radius of the circle, so A times B here becomes R times R, which is R squared. Okay, so let's apply it to this case here. A half R squared theta. Notice I'm writing the angle here in radians, because this formula here for the area of a sector is just in radians. Okay, so 60 degrees is pi over 3, and a half R squared sine theta. Now, if you put sine of pi over 3 in your calculator, you've got to have your calculator in radians mode. Very important. You could just have your calculator in degrees mode and put sine of 60 there, as long as you're in the right mode. And the answer, 5.8 centimetres squared. Next example. These last two examples are very similar to ones that you'll come across in the exam. So here we've got a triangle OAB. We've got... AC here, which is part of the sector of this circle, OAC. So in other words, OA and OC are the same length, they're 10 centimetres. And we want to find the area and perimeter of this shaded region here. And it also wants us to give our answer in terms of pi and root 3. So not to three significant figures, but we want the exact answer here. For the shaded area, what we're going to do here, of course, is work out the area of the whole triangle and then subtract off the area of the sector. Hopefully you can see that that's obvious here. Um, so in order to get the exact values here we just have to look at this triangle over here. Uh, now you're going to come across this in the next chapter on trigonometry but just have, just have a look in uh, this triangle now which will help you get the exact values. If you've got a calculator that gives you the exact trig values you don't have to worry about this so that's great but if you don't uh, this was coming up later, so don't be too disturbed if you don't know. Okay, so the area of this triangle OAB is a half base times height. The base is OA, which is 10 centimetres, the height is AB. Uh, I'm going to talk about AB in a sec. And minus the area of the sector, half R squared theta. R is 10, and theta is pi over 3. We're already given this angle in radians. Okay, so all we need is the length of AB. If you look in this triangle up here, we could say tan of pi over 3, tan of 60 is AB over 10, okay, in this right angle triangle up here. So AB is 10 times tan pi over 3. Tan of 60, if you look in this triangle, opposite over adjacent, is root 3. So the exact value for the length of AB is 10 root 3. Okay, if we replace 10 root 3 up here, we get this expression here, which looks pretty ugly. 10 times 10... 100, half of that is 50 root 3 there. This thing here, 10 squared is 100 times a half is 50, so 50 pi over 3. There's our exact area in terms of root 3 and pi. Okay, for the perimeter of the shaded region, we need to find the length of OB. Once we've found the length of OB, we can subtract off 10, which is OC, to get the length of B to C. We can find the length of A to B, just using basic trigonometry, and we can find the length of the arc using the formula that we know. Okay, so here's the working here. Cos of 60, cos of pi over 3 is 10 over OB. So OB is 10 divided by cos of 60, which is exactly 20 centimetres. Remember to have your calculator in radians mode when you put that in your calculator. So BC, therefore, is exactly 10 centimetres. So the perimeter sh shaded region is the arc AC, which is just R theta. Once again, that angle there is in radians, plus the length of AB, which we had from before, 10 root 3, plus the length of BC. So there's our final answer for the perimeter of the shaded region. Last example. Here we've got a uh, circle with some tangents drawn at the points F and D meeting at point E. We've got the radius of the circle is 6 centimetres. We don't know the angle, but we know that the length of the arc, DF, is 10 centimetres. <clears throat> okay, uh, one thing you should remember from your uh, geometry last year is the angle between the radius and a tangent 
is 90 degrees. So this is a right angle here at D, also a right angle at F. The other thing you should know is that the length from E to F and E to D is the same. So if you have any external point when you draw tangents to a circle, the length of those lines to the circle will be the same length. Okay, so the angle DOF in radians, this is an old problem. S equals R theta, that's the formula we use. The length of the arc is 10, the radius is 6, so divide by 6 we get 5 over 3. That is the angle in radians. <clears throat> the length of DE, okay, as I've got here, Angle ODE is 90 degrees, so ODE is a right angle triangle. So you might want to draw a line down the middle here, which will help you kind of see this right angle triangle here. So if I go ahead and do that, and go right down there. So now we've got a right angle triangle, which might help us out here. Okay. So the angle DOE is half of angle DOF. That's obvious. So if angle that we found in the previous one DOF is 5 over 3, angle DOE, this little one in here, is going to be half of that, which is 5 over 6. Okay. So tan of that angle there is opposite over adjacent, so that's DE over 6. So DE is 6 times tan, 5 over 6. Once again, calculate in radians mode. It's a radian here. DE is 6.60 centimetres, I should have there, centimetres to 3 sig figs. The area of the shaded region, okay. So once again, similar to the last question, if we look at this right angle triangle here, we're going to work out the area of the triangle, subtract off the area of the sector, and then I'm just going to double the area. So the area of the triangle is a half base times height, the base we worked out in the previous question. And we're going to double that two times the area of that triangle, and then we're going to minus off the area of the whole sector. So that's one way of doing it. A half r squared theta. So the angle in the middle there is 5 over 3. That gives us 9.63 centimetres squared. So there's some problems on radian measure, the kind that you'll get in the exam. Good luck.